So ever since I was an architecture student, I always had an interest in technology. There were like a ton of tech that would have definitely made life easier way back then, but were pretty expensive and I had like zero dinero. Well, who am I kidding? I still have zero dinero today. Well, fast forward to 2020, the year where technology of yesteryear becomes a little bit more affordable and slightly more Chinese. What? Anyways, welcome to my top 5 gadgets for architecture. The first gadget on our list is actually gifted to me by my awesome cousins, Abel and Abert. Anyways, this doodad inside this pouch right here is a designer's dream gadget. And it is a... Tada! A color sensor. So this particular one I have right here is the NYX Color Sensor Mini 2. So basically what this color sensor does is it allows me to scan any object and determine the hex code and sRGB numbers for the specific color of that object I scan. So for example, I could just scan an object with a color I like and BAM! That color is automatically saved on my phone along with the various color codes you need to input on your 3D modeling software or you know, whatever design software you're using. So another cool thing I love about the NYX app is that if you click the painter's palette icon on the top right, it will show you the various color harmonies of your scans. So if I want to see the complementary colors of this table, all I have to do is scan it with the NYX Mini 2 and then go to the app and check the complementary colors. And bingo malingo, you are now a color master. So not only does it have complementary color harmonies, it also has other color harmonies like monochromatic, analogous, split complementary, etc. So if you guys are someone like me who struggles with color combinations, this color sensor is definitely a must have for you guys. So at the time of recording, this color sensor will set you guys back about 100 bucks. And for that 100 bucks, you get this nifty diamond shaped sensor itself encased in this cool acrylic box right here. And it also comes with a USB cable, this carrying pouch and a lanyard. So you can wear this on your neck and flex on your friends who doesn't have monies to buy a NYX color sensor. I don't know what this pose is. <laughs> Anyways, one thing that kind of bugs me about this sensor is that in order to turn it on, you have to plug it in via the USB cable. So yeah, you have to carry a USB cable and a power bank with you at all times if you want to use this thing. So I wish they had just placed like an on and off switch here. Anyways, let us move on to gadget number two. So unlike our first thingamabob, gadget number two is not so portable. And I'm not sure if you guys could see it right there, but that my friends is a 3D printer. I actually just got that like two days ago and I have been printing a bunch of nonsense things with it. I definitely did a lot of trial and error trying to get my prints just right, but let me tell you guys, that 3D printer is a game changer for architecture students and architects alike. But Leon, aren't 3D printers expensive? So at the time of recording, that 3D printer costs only $230. Crazy, right? I know people who have cell phones that cost like five times more than that. Hell, some people even have shoes more expensive than that 3D printer. And yes, I'm talking about you Yeezy wearing architects out there. Jokes on you. I can now print my own Yeezys with that baby. Jokes aside, your imagination is the limit with 3D printers. You can print out scale models like the one I have right here. So the process to print your own scale models is super simple. Just use SketchUp or any 3D software to make your 3D models. Then just export it as an STL file and slice it with some proprietary 3D printing software. Then after that, just save it into a micro SD card, slot that into your 3D printer and just hit print. This thing would have been real nice back when I was an architecture student. No more sleepless nights doing scale models. I could just print my models with this running as I sleep. So I wake up the next morning and my model is already done. Anyways, if you are someone who enjoys doing scale models manually, then this 3D printer might not be for you. But if you are someone like me who enjoys 3D modeling and creating things digitally, then this is a must buy for you. So the only downside to this is that it requires some initial assembly since the printer comes disassembled, but assembling it is as easy as building some Lego sets. But aside from that, I can honestly say that I am super stoked to have a 3D printer and I can't wait to print more stuff. Welcome to the 21st century, my dudes. Moving on, the third piece of technology on my list fits in the realm of pocketable architecture gadgets. Is that an architecture gadget or are you just excited to see me? 
This, my friends, is not a Nokia 3310. It is a laser distance measurer. Or some call it a digital laser rangefinder. So just call it whatever sounds cooler. Its name is pretty self-explanatory. It is a measuring device that uses a laser to gauge distances. I got this one for about $15, which is about the price of a high quality tape measure. Okay, so this works pretty simple. So you just click on this red button right here and it projects a laser dot from this top hole right here. So whatever surface that laser dot is at is where this gadget will take its measurement from. So let's say I wanna measure the distance of the ceiling to the top of my head. So we will just place this thing on my head and point the laser to the ceiling. Now just click on this red button again to measure. And bam! Witchcraft! So for those of you wondering, the ceiling is about 1.4 meters from my head, so there you go. Now this specific model of laser measure mobob has different functions. So you can add or subtract different measurements and you can change the unit of your measurement and you can even change the zero reference point from either the top of the device or the bottom of the device. Which by the way are very useful features but the one feature that I love the most about this one is the removable batteries right there. Okay. Story time, my dudes. So about two years ago, I bought a branded laser mabob. It's Bosch. I think it was about $120 for that one. And after three months of normal use, the batteries on that Bosch laser thingy just decided to die on me. So the bad thing is that that Bosch laser mabob had some built-in batteries. So there's no way I could have fixed the battery issue. Long story short, I sent it back to Bosch for repair. And when I finally got it back, which took like two months of waiting. Within a week of using it, the gosh darn thing broke again. Bosh dang it! So yeah, here we are with a $15 laser distance measurer and I couldn't be more happier with my purchase. Although one feature that the Bosch laser mading dong had and this one lacks is the angle measurement feature, which comes in handy sometimes. But you know, I got an app for that on my phone. So yeah, Bosch, if you're watching this, Send me some free stuff. <laughs> Anywho, moving on to the fourth gadget for Architects. So this one I don't particularly have with me, but I'm planning on buying one sometime in the near future. And that is a cutter plotter. So for those of you who do not know what a cutter plotter is, it is basically a printer, but instead of printing on paper, it cuts the paper. <laughs> So this will come in super handy when prototyping some scale models. You can just cut out the wall in thin cardboard with the cutter plotter, tape them together, and bam! Instant scale models. But Leon, if I already have a 3D printer, why would I need this? Well, black and white question, Leon, I have one word to answer your question, and that is time. Saving. Dang it. Okay, so with this cutter plotter, you can cut out designs so much faster than using a 3D printer. So you can use the cutter plotter to prototype some wall shapes, then later on print your final designs on that 3D printer. So this gadget actually complements the 3D printer pretty well. So you can cut some stickers which you can then apply onto your 3D printed models. And you know, there's so much I want to do with the cutter plotter once I get my hands on one. Sky's the limit, young saplings. So the only downside I see with this is that it is a bit expensive. Right now, the cheapest cutter plotter I could find will set you back a good $250. So yeah, kinda pricey. We'll just keep that one on our wish list for now. And just like that, we are now on the last item on our list. And that is the Moashur. Moashur? Moashur? It's like Moana's lost brother, Moashur. So anyways, this Moashur gadget, just like our previous gadget, I do not have it with me right now because it's kind of expensive. So everything I'm about to discuss is just what I see from the videos and their website. So basically what a Moasher is, is it is a motion-based measurement tool that allows you to track this measuring tape looking thingy-mobob via an application. So you take the Moasher and basically use it to outline the place you want to measure and it plots out the areas that you have outlined, then inputs that data to your cell phone app and BAM! You now have a DX file that you can edit in your CAD programs. So I can see that this will be very useful for plotting out as-built structures or even for estimating weird shaped areas. So according to their website, you can use this to measure 3D volumes, irregular 2D areas, distance of inclines and angles between surfaces, which I'ma tell you guys right now, those are some of the hardest things to measure with just some regular tape measure and quick maths. So yeah, if what they say is true, then this Moasher will be a lifesaver. 
But unfortunately, with a price tag of $300, if you don't do estimates and as-built drawings on a daily basis, I think you're better off buying a second 3D printer or maybe even some Yeezys. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I guess I'ma end the video right here. So if you guys liked any of these 3D products, I'ma put some of my Lazada affiliate links down in the descriptions below. Also, for the dudes out there who can't afford any of these things yet, do not be discouraged, my dudes. I too couldn't afford any of these things I mentioned just a couple of years ago. Actually, two of the items on this list I still couldn't afford. But that is besides the point. What I want to say is to never give up. Remember, money is not a measure of success. If you find happiness in the things you are doing right now, then you, my friend, are successful in my book. So just keep at it. If you enjoy what you do, I'm sure you guys will find success. You won't even notice it, but money will just follow. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below to become a member of the Arky Squad. I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Fly in peace.